What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are hopping onto the Series 14 ladder. Yep, you guys heard that correctly. It is now November 1st, which means the Series 14 rule set is now out. So no more unlimited legendaries, only two allowed. It's kind of back to the Series 12 rule set. But today's video, we're rocking out with a Groudon and Zekrom team to help you guys push Master Tier in the final rank season before Pokemon Scarlet and Violet comes out. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, it goes a long way. Make sure you guys ring those notification bells so you know when all my videos come out. Considering we have the new Pokemon Scarlet Violet coming out, we're going to be doing tons of content over there. Or for that game, I should say. But before we get started here with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator. My boy, that's a plus one. Thank you so much for making this team and giving it out as a rental code to everybody. Again, he is a Pokemon YouTuber. He makes some awesome content. So if you guys want to go check out his channel, links to all of his socials will be down in the description below. But let's get started here in that top left corner with the one and only Zekrom. It's got Terra Volt as its ability, alongside the weakness policy as its item. Rocket Protect, Earth Power, Rising Voltage, and Draco Meteor for an amazing special attacking moveset. Second Pokemon on today's team is going to be Comfy over here. Comfy and Zekrom are a really strong combo. Comfy can proc weakness policy pretty easily, then keep Zekrom alive with Floral Healing just by like constantly healing it. It's got Protect, it's got Trick Room, Floral Healing like we just mentioned, and then Draining Kiss for its lonesome stab hitting move to proc that weakness policy on that Zekrom. Bottom left hand corner, or not the bottom left hand corner, the middle left is going to be Groudon right here with Drought and the White Herb as its item. It's got Protect, Sword Sands set up that special attack boost. Not special, I can't speak to that. Not special attack boost, attack boost. It's going to give it a nice little plus two attack boost, and then it's got Rock Slide and Prince of Ice Blades for its two hitting moves. Fourth Pokemon on today's team is going to be Storm Drain Gastron over here with Leftovers, Protect, Yawn, Earth Power, and Scald. Nothing you guys haven't seen before. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Bronzong right here, and Bronzong is really good at support, and at the same time, he's good at proc and weakness policy and protecting the Zekrom at the same time. It's got Trick Room, Ally Switch, Bulldoze, and Flash Cannon, and then Levitate and the Mental Herb as its item. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be a heavy hitter. It is going to be Charizard, everybody's favorite starter right here with Solar Power and the Lumberry as item. It's got Protect, Solar Beam, Hurricane, and Blast Burn, Blast Burn, Blast Burn for its four moves. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder. Look to get some wins in the brand new Series 14 format. First match coming at you guys, and look at this dude's team. This dude's team is insanely strong. This was probably the best team back in Series 12, and now that the rule set is kind of pushed back and kind of the same exact as that, this team is back on the top of the ranks. This guy's got Zacian, he's got Groudon, he's got Charizard, Incineroar, and then he also has the Gastron alongside with that Grimstorm for support. So I could go into Zekrom. Zekrom is not too bad here. I kind of like him. He could do a lot of work, but we just got to watch out for the swap-ins from... Uh, Zacian and the swap-ins from Groudon. Groudon could be a pain here. I don't really like you, Groudon. I mean, do we have ally switch on Comfy? It might only be on Bronzong. Bronzong wouldn't be bad for a nice little ally switch. Hmm. Do we have Bronzong instead? Hmm. Let me see your speed. 112. I mean, Trick Room would really benefit us. Trick Room could definitely benefit us. Um, I'm thinking of going Bronzong here. Bronzong, Zekrom. Maybe proc and weakness policy that way, and then roll it out from there. I could go Groudon Charizard. That's not a big combo, but I'm going to go Bronzong. I am going to go Zekrom. It just seems like he has so much speed on his team that it can do me dirty. Actually, it's really just a Zacian. You know what? We have 10 seconds to pick. I'm going to go into Comfy Combo. Bring Groudon and Charizard in the back end. I'm all about it. I'm all about it, but he might end up leading the, uh, the Incineroar. If I had to guess, probably Incineroar is going to come out here. But Draining Kiss should go first before Vega. I believe that's how it works. I believe that works like that, which I really like. That's because it has a uh, first turn priority due to its uh, triage ability. That's really good. It's definitely really good. So let's see who he ends up leading. Is it going to beat that Incineroar? It is. So Incineroar, and I might just go. I might just Dynamax and roll out with uh, Zekrom here. I think that might be my play. Probably going to set up screens. I mean, I'm all, I'm all for that. That's totally fine. I doubt he swaps Incineroar into Zacian. But I say we just go for the attack drop instead of the electric move. I think I'm all about it. Let's do it. Or I could go into an Earth Power. Go for a special defense boost. I mean, what Pokemon do you have that has that grants uh, a special attacking? A special defense boost would be good here. I think that will be better than the attack drop. Yeah, you have the Charizard. You have the uh, 
Gashon. I think I'm all about it. I'm going to Dynamax. I'm going to go for a Max Quake straight into this Incineroar slot. And then at the same time, I'm just going to Draining Kiss and uh, Proc Weak this policy. That's my play. It should come out before the Fake Out, I believe. Which could be amazing. It could be amazing. So hopefully he's faking my, out my Comfy and then Comfy actually goes first before the Fake Out to do its uh, Triage ability. And we can roll out pretty strong there. That's what I really like about Comfy. Like, it threw me off tons of times. Like, people think that you could just fake out. Nah, yo, Comfy comes in a little bit faster and just gets his work done before it even be, uh, becomes faked out. So I really do like that. So let's see how this one plays. Yep, Draining Kiss comes out here first. Hopefully we're seeing a fake out into that slot. That'll be beautiful. It'll work well. And of course I get a crit on my own Pokemon. Like, what is that? <laughs> what is that? We crit our own Pokemon. So this policy gets proc. Let's see what he wants to do. Is he faking me out? He is, yo. This is why Comfy's the best, yo. Comfy rips. So he's going to set up the light screen. I'm totally cool with that. I still think we could possibly pick up a KO here, right? I think, oh, he has a Shuka Berry? Ah, never mind. I thought we were going to be able to pick up that beautiful KO. So he's going to set up screens, all that good stuff. That kind of hurts the soul. Still be coming after this thing. So Quake's going to fire. Do some nice damage. It might have not been able to pick up a KO. going to go into that. But um, he could swap in Charizard, so I think I just go Electric Shot there. I really feel like I just go Electric Shot into that slot now. Because you can think that I'm going for another Quake. And we can just drop a nice lovely electric shot. Or I can go into... I think Wormwind would be our best bet. Just in case he swaps into the Groudon. Maybe he swaps to the Groudon. I think Wormwind would be our best bet. So I'm going to Wormwind that slot. And I might just pop a Trick Room here. I'm thinking of just popping a Trick Room. He definitely has Zassy in the back. And I'd rather pop a Trick Room in, in this situation. So I'm going to Wormwind. I'm going to take out this lovely little Incineroar. And we're going to roll out from there. We are indeed going to roll out. So we get the attack drop on him. He's probably setting up. No, he's not setting up a reflect because that would have came out first. He's probably going for a spirit break. Yep, spirit break comes through. Going to drop my special attack. Do a little bit of damage onto me. And now I'm only plus one. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with only being plus one. Trick room's going to pop. We're going to start to take speed. Because if we had to guess, he has Zassian in the back end, right? Zassian's an absolute must. He has to have Zassian in the back end. He has to have Zacian in the back end. I guess we'll see. He's going to throw out his next Pokemon. It is going to be ground. He's definitely going to Dynamax it. And I want to Wormwind that slot just to get the minus one onto him. Just to get that lovely minus one. And then from here, what can I do? I mean, Zekrom's speed's not that fast. What is it, like 119? It might be slower or, in this instance, faster than the ground on. Because what's my ground on speed? What's your speed ground on? You're 120, and... You're boosted, you're, oh no, that's Charizard. And you're not really boosted on speed. I can definitely see his ground on being faster than uh, the Zekrom. Yeah, at this point, I think we just go into the Wormwind. We send it here for that attack drop. And do I Floral Heal here? Just to get some HP back? Or do I Draining Kiss? I think I would just Floral Heal and we get Zekrom up high. Because we know Max Quake's going to be coming after him. So maybe, just maybe we could soak up a Max Quake shot. And that could be big for us. He could be guarding here as well. He could definitely be guarding. But I would have went after Grimstarl, but I really, really wanted this attack drop. So, Wormwind doesn't affect Grimstarl. So, we might as well get some damage off of the Groudon. Even though Groudon's going to soak really well. Floral Healing's going to come out here. We're going to go back up to about high 300s, right? Let's see. Yep, high 300s. 396 HP. And he's going to set up the Reflect finally. So, he sets up the Reflect. That's totally fine. I only have... Do I have any physical attackers? I have Groudon in the back end. He's physical. Wormwind's going to fly. We do outspeed in the Trick Room, which is huge. And we're going to do a little bit of damage, but more importantly, we get that attack drop onto him. Which is going to help my Zekrom actually soak up some shots. And I feel like if we could just waste out his Dynamax turns, we could be sitting in a good position for Series 14. For our first battle for Series 14, I should say. So there it goes to Quake. It's going to go into Zekrom. Zekrom soaks really well. I can just Floral Heal up again. If I wanted to. Actually, I don't even know if we can eat up another one if we Floral Heal. We might double down into me. So is Floral Heal going to be the play? I'm trying to think. That did about half my damage here. Mm. I figured we could soak if we floral heal again. I'm gonna drop a rising voltage in the slot. I should have set the terrain, but you know, we're just gonna floral heal up again. I feel like he gives me no reason not to. He might double down into me at this point. But again, we're just wasting turns here. He is getting special defense boost, which kinda suck. So he's gonna start to be able to start soaking up some shots, but it'd be like that sometimes. We're back up to full HP. He's going to end up going for a Spirit Break, and I think he's doubling down on me, right? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, we, can we eat up this? We might be able to eat up this, this next shot. Special Attack's back to normal. 
We're gonna go first. We're gonna hit a nice little rise of voltage here. He's plus one special defense with the light screen. Yeah, he's soaking up all day long. Big time soaks and Quake's gonna fly. So we're sitting at no we have a little problem here. We have a little problem here. Oh you eat. You eat. So we are just wasting out these turns. Our problem here is these guys are boosting special attack and really all that we have is special attackers on the field. Hmm. Um instead of floral healing, I said we just attack at this point. I said we just attack, right? You go for a special defense drop, but is that really gonna do? I might as well just drink a meter. Maybe get a crit here. And then straight and kiss onto the slot. I kind of protect it because we know we know what he's doing. He's gonna hit with my Grimmsnarl. He's gonna hit the Grimmsnarl with my Zekrom and then Dynamax move into my Confi. I'm gonna use that, get back like three HP. Oh wow, a lot more than three HP, but uh Yeah, we're dead here. He's gonna go for another max quake, which kinda sucks. Um I, I it makes me have to bring out the Groudon. But Groudon has to come out here. Groudon has to come out here. He still has reflect, which and he boosts his defense. Smart play. Smart play. Goes to the steel spike. Surprised he has that. And now, dude, he's just boosting the defense all around. With screens. Ah! Oh, I don't like this. Not one bit. Screens do me dirty. So I'm forced to throw out the next my next two Pokemon. Trick room should be ra ending rather soon. So I might just protect the Charizard here. Again, I do not know. Hmm. How many turns left in Light Screen? This is tough. We need some crits out here. We need some crits. We definitely need some crits. How many turns left in the screens? And how many turns left in Trick Room? Could throw a Solar Beam. Let me see. We got one turn left in Trick Room. I could go for this. I mean, he could have rocks. I think I'm going to Swords Dance here. I think I'm going to Swords Dance to protect. I think that's my play all day. Because I think he's going to drop a rock in the Charizard slot. So I get boosted on attack we could have a shot here at winning this thunder wave's gonna come in here he's gonna try to slow me down but with that he's going for he's going for oh we doubled he doubled into the charizard slot it's a great turn from us it's a solid turn from us it's a really good turn from us solar power's gonna take some hp but uh trick has gone but we should we should still have drought so i think like we should go into the leads here and do we solar beam and double down to this this guy right here. I feel like we have to, even though he's boosted. I feel like Solar Beam is our best bet. I could go for the double protect, but I could also go for the blast burn. I can't move next turn. Huh. Maybe we just go for the uh, Solar Beam here while we can. Let's see what he does. He's going to go for the Thunder Wave. He's going to slow me down. Hopefully, he can miss the Stone Edge. We know he's going for Stone Edge. Let's see. Oh, I forgot about my Lumberry. I forgot about my Lumberry. Solar Beam's coming out here. That's solid. Um, I don't think it's going to do too much damage, but still. Good old Lumberry helped me out here. Good old Lumberry. Solar Beam's going to come through here. He's plus two on special defense. And then he has light screen. So look at that soak. It's a big time soak. Is my Groudon on speed? Is that my Groudon? Yo, that's my Groudon. Doing some work. Good work, Groudon. He's going to go for a Stone Edge, and that connects. All right, so Charizard's dead. This is coming down to the wire here. I mean, you can't... Wait, can he? Yeah, I don't think he can Thunder Wave me. But he's going to fire, yo. That Sword Dance is big. I know my ground on outspeeds, which is beautiful. I mean, what's his Grimstar really going to do? Set up screens? I mean, we just go for Blades here. He's got to have Zassy in the back end. And if I could say a full HP, or pretty close to full HP, I feel like we could take on this Zassy. That Sword Dance play for me was huge. It was huge. It keeps us in the battle. Yeah, I need I need to land this blades here. I need to land this blades. We outspeed both. We outspeed both. Double KO, right? Oh babe, yo, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. All right, let's get it. Yo, there's a fly on my mic. Yo, get out of here, fly. We're in a we're in a big position here. He still has reflect, but still we're plus two on that attack board from that sword dance. And I think he brings out Zassian here, right? Gotta be Zassian. It is Zassian. So if we can soak up a shot, which I really think we can do. And land this blades, it should be GG through the reflect. It should be GG. Full HP? Come on now. Come on now. Let's go, blades. Let's go, blades. I need you to land here. I need you to land. I know he's going for a behemoth blade. Again, we should be able to soak unless he gets a crit. Fingers crossed. And then we're just gonna roll off from here. Because we are pretty bulky with this ground right here. HP's pretty high. Let's see. Yeah, we soak up all day. Just gotta land this blades. 
Should be the win. Should be the win. Show it to me. Show it to me. Through the reflect. Your boy clutching up here in battle number one. What a way to get series 14 started off here. Got that sword dance off and just had Precipice Blades slaughter everybody else. This brand new series already seems a lot more fun. Look at the Pokemon that we're going up against. I haven't seen Rotom Heat in so long, so I cannot wait to go up against it. Hopefully he gets to bring him in here, but this guy's rocking Zacian. You have Veltal, Landorus, Grimmsnarl, Rotom Heat, like we already mentioned, and then last but not least, he has Storm Drain Gastron, but I feel like Storm Drain Gastron is just on teams to kind of counteract the Kyogre. But um, from here, I could just lead Groudon and Charizard. I think that's just an easy Dynamax here. He could go into Landorus as a lead, but then we can eventually swap out. I'll bring Zekrom in the back end, and then we could just bring Gastron. I kind of like Gash on here. It has a few super effective moves. Is it Rocking Ice Beam and Earth Power? No, it's Scald and Earth Power, which I don't mind. I don't mind. Scald's going to be super effective on the Landorus, onto the, uh, the Rotom Heat, and then we also have an Earth move. Or not, or not an Earth move, a Ground move for that Zacian. Zacian, Zacian, however you guys want to pronounce it. But yo, battle number one. Let's get it, yo. That was an awesome battle, but battle number two, we're sitting here. We want to guarantee yourselves a winning record and look to get started here strong on the rank ladder. But as you guys can tell, towards the end of Series 13, I couldn't really find rank battles because I don't think a lot of people were playing Series 13. So I was on a casual ladder for like my last couple videos in October. So what I'm trying to say here is uh, we're actually on the rank ladder this time. So that first battle was rank of uh, battles. This one's a rank battle, and I'm finding opponents no problem now. I, I guess it was just a Series 13 thing where people were just like, nah, yo. I'm over it. I'm done with it. But I'm glad they actually switched it back before Scarlet and Violet actually comes out. Because we got, what is it, like 18 days now? I think it comes out on the 19th or the 16th. One or the other. I'm going to have to look into it. But uh, he's going to end up leading Landorus alongside with uh, alongside with Grimmsnarl. And I'm trying to think if Charizard can actually pick up this KO. If he Dynamaxes, he can drop a rock on me, which I don't like. I really don't like it. There goes my white herb. I think I Dynamax Charizard. Or I could protect Charizard and Swords Dance this guy. I definitely want to Swords Dance Groudon, so I'm going to lock that in. And my real question is, do we just outspeed and get straight after that thing? And maybe just throw a G-Max Wildfire into it? Because I feel like even through like the Reflect, we could do some crazy big damage. Or I might just protect or something. Like This thing could Dynamax pretty easily here, right? And I don't want to drop it on Rock on me. I really do not. But you know what? I'm just going to go straight after it. I'm going to do some big damage. He could set up a Reflect, potentially. I just feel like we have to get straight after this battle, especially with Swords Dance and our Groudon. But yo, that White Herb coming up clutch. And you know what else came up clutch? I'm not even going to lie, that Lumberry that I totally forgot about in battle number one. I was sitting there, he Thunder waved me, I'm like, ah. And then I started eating a berry. I'm like, wait a minute. I got a Lumberry, which was awesome. Clutched up for me. Everything was big, and that White Herb was definitely clutch there, too. So we use our White Herb. I think he's going to Dynamax Lando. Yeah, it's got to be Lando. I think he's dropping a rock, so I was going to protect and just allow that shot to actually hit me, and I'll soak it up. But I feel like we can do some big damage, especially if he does not set up a uh, light screen, which he might do. He definitely might do. We'll see. We'll see how this one plays out here. Yeah, thun oh, yeah. Oh, wait, we have Lumberry. Haha, <laughs> yo, Lumberry coming in hot. Lumberry coming in hot, yo, dude. This Lumberry's MVP so far. Slumberry's been doing some work, so he does not set up the Lightning. Can this KO? I know Charizard does some big damage. Oh, this this thing sashed? He's not sashed? Okay, Dynamax Pokemon. I'm fine. I'm fine with that turn. Both Dynamax Pokemon die. He's going to die to Wildfire, but both Dynamax Pokemon die, and I set up a Sword Dance. You kidding me? This is guy gets a free focus, Ash? Bro, get out of my face. Get out of my face with that. But yo, what's called clutch? That Lumberry's MVP so far. That Lumberry's MVP. That thing was orb. Are you kidding? If we would have picked up the KO, we, we would have swept out this battle. But at least we set up wildfire damage. That's going to be really beneficial for us. And we get off this sword dance. We dancing with the swords. I think that move looks so cool. Just four swords just clanging together. Just, it just looks so cool. Looks so cool. But I've been seeing uh, memes online. It's just like me playing Pokemon when I'm like five. And it's just like... It's like the, it was like a picture of Drake where he's going like this, like putting it, like disregarding whatever it is, and he was disregarding uh, status moves or moves that boost like stats and all that. And it was just like me playing Pokemon when I'm older. He's like pointing at like sword stance and everything. <laughs> but it's so true. You legit uh, sit there. Actually, might go in this ass. I'm gonna bring Gash on, but uh, you legit sit there as a kid. You're just like, I just want attacking moves. I want flamethrower. Water Pulse, Thunderbolt, all on this one Pokemon. And then when you get older, you're like, no, I need like Tailwind, Swords Dance, 
iron defense, all that good stuff. He's gonna end up going in the Yveltal. Wow, we definitely should have went into what's it called. I'm gonna drop a rock slide here. But we definitely should have went into Zekrom. Zekrom would have been good, but I'm gonna do that. And uh, do I start trying to get rid of the Grimstrong? And yo, this fly is in my room, and I cannot get it. I cannot get it. I'm trying to record. So if you see me like looking at a fly, it's because there's a fly in my room. But uh, I want to scald on one of these guys. I think I'm gonna go into. I don't want to take out support. I kind of want to take out the support. He's gonna set up reflect. That's fine. That is fine. We are plus two on. We could have sword stance again. That could have been a good play. Oh, he's foul playing me. How dare you? I hate foul play, man. I hate foul play. <laughs> that just did me so dirty. Give me a burn. Give me a little burn action. Ah, oh, that hurts, man. That one hurts. Are you kidding me? That one hurts. Wildfire chipping through. I love me some wildfire damage. So I'm gonna hope that the Buffett's wildfire and a skull can take him out next turn, and then we can just go in the second round here. I have to guess he probably has Assy in the back end. Yo, that, that that foul play really took me out in one shot. I wanted one turn at least. I really wanted one turn. He's probably gonna set up a light screen here. Which is eh. I'm just gonna go into rising voltage, try to finish it off, and then just drop another skull into him. Actually, Earth Power does a bit more. I'm just gonna go into Earth Power. Are you kidding me, yo? That's, that's so annoying. I was sitting there, I was like, yeah, yo, I got Swords Dance off. He's just like, nah, yo. I just got a foul play with this shit, Bell Tall. Take all 200 of your HP, all 203 HP in one shot. Come on now. I really thought there was nothing that you Bell Tall can do, but I guess when you're boosted with Swords Dance, foul plays just rips up into you. It's like a uh, weakness policy, so Galeo. Foul play rips into that thing. Especially if you proc the weakness policy, it's super effective, and then it just rips you down. I killed I kill Dynamax Solgaleo's like full HP like that before. But he sets up the light screen, which is a smart little play. I'm hoping that this Buffett's Wildfire and Earth Power combination can take it out. And he's going to Snarl me. How dare you? How dare you Snarl me? I need my weakness policy procced. I need, I need him to proc my weakness policy at this point. Rising Bolt is going to fly. Just give me some crits, man. Did nothing. That did nothing. That did absolutely nothing. Earth Power is going to fly. Buffets and Wildfire, I think, should be able to take that out. I think that should be able to take it out, which could be big for us. Could be big for us. Come on, take out the Grim and Grim. We don't want it anymore. Wildfire's doing some nice damage. He probably has Oblivion Wing, which could be scary. Take him out, please. Let's go. Okay, so that's a big time KO. Um, if I had to guess, he has Zassy in the back end. I need a Zekrom's weakness policy proc. Definitely need a proc. Hmm. I am minus one on special attack. Both my Pokemon are. And here comes his Zassian. Zassian comes out here. Oh, he's probably just going to play rough me down. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Hmm. What I want to do, he's going to start on me again, which sucks, man. Hate this game. But I guess I'll just go in the Rising Voltage and maybe just yawn Zassian. I should have yawned your belt all last turn. Like, Grimstar would have been the Pokemon to proc my weakness policy. I should have yawned you belt all. Let the Grimstar probably get another turn here. But he's gonna Behemoth Blade me. I don't think he has play rough. You guys soak this up? What are you going after? You're gonna go after Gashon. Gashon, you should be able to soak that. I love you. Good work, Gashon. It's not very effective. He's gonna go for a Snarl again. How dare you? This dude's a coward. Why is it doing so much damage to my Gashon? Doing way too much damage to my Gashon. <laughs> doing way too much damage. Rise of Voltage can come through here. Give me a crit, yo. I, I deserve a crit. Doing some damage. Do we get one more turn with Wildfire? If we get one more turn with Wildfire, that could be huge. But I think it's over. I would love one more turn. I would love me one more turn. Get one more turn. We do get one more turn. That's huge. That is huge. Buffets should we should have we should have another turn of Buffets here too. So a double protect would do is really, really good. We should have one more turn of Buffets, right? Sandstorm. <sighs> One out of five. I don't know if it just ends. It might just end. Uh, but I gotta go for double protect here. I gotta get some HP back with the leftovers. We gotta have the Abel's all go down. This is such a good battle. And then we have to have uh, Zassian go to sleep. So you're saying there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. Even if Blade comes through here, we block. We need Buffett to hit one more time. And I honestly totally forget if Buffets are going to hit. I seriously hope. It'll be huge. It'll be huge. Hit it. 
Man, dude. But Zassian does go to sleep, which is big. Zassian goes to sleep. I feel like we just have to earth power with Gashon because Gashon should be able to eat up a snarl. I wonder what he's going to do here. And then we just rising voltage with uh, Zekrom. Yeah, because rise. That yeah, should do enough. That <laughs> should do enough. And then we just start targeting down to Zassian. Maybe look for a crit. Hopefully, I'm kind of hoping your Veltal just goes for Snarl. This is such a good battle. This is such a good battle. We're playing our Protects and we played our Weather and Wildfire really good. But it's stupid how Wildfire, when it says it has one turn left, it uh, it uses a turn, but then Buffett stole. not It's weird. It's weird how that works. I think Buffett should go through first, but... Mm, not a fan. Only when I need it. Assassin's going to be asleep. He's going to Snarl again. Gashadon, that's a huge dodge from Gashadon, because I wasn't too sure if Gashadon would see that up. It's a big time dodge from Gashadon. Rise and Voltage, we need you to KO here. And we need Zassian to be asleep like another turn. Rise and Voltage should KO, it does. Beautiful, lovely. He still has Lich Green, I totally forget about that. But we need some crits. We need some crits out of, out of my boys here. Gashadon's going to go for an EP. Give me crit. No crit. Give me special defense drop. No special defense drop, but we're getting some HE back. Um, okay, <laughs> this battle is wild. We need another turn of sleep. Maybe two turns of sleep. But we definitely need one here. Cannot, cannot allow this dude to wake up. But let's go Earth Power here. And then go into another Earth Power. And he's gonna be asleep. I might predict the wake up next turn. I might predict the wake up next turn. Try to get off another yawn. We need some crits, yo. We need some crits here. We're chipping up some damage. Give me special. I'm not getting no special defense drops. I think I might predict the wake up here. I might predict the wake up here. Go Earth Power. Until we yawn. I mean, he would be going after my. He'd be going after my Gastro, right? You would think he would be going after my Gastro, right? I'm going to protect my Gastro here. I think he wakes up. I think it's just gonna be Hemoth Blade my Gasher slot. I'm gonna say he wakes up, Behemoth Blades that slot, we get off another turn, and then maybe, just maybe after the leftovers, we can actually uh get some work done. Oh my god, I'm a genius. I'm a genius, I'm a genius, I'm a genius. I'm so good at this game. I'm so good at this game. God, this battle's gonna be so close. Do I go for the yawn? I feel like I have to go for the yawn over the Earth Power. I feel like I have to go for the yawn over the earth power. Don't put earth power on this slot, but I have to go for the yawn into this slot. Miss it? Eat this up? Oh, 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 oh. Came down the wire. Came down to the wire. Can we get a crit? Can we win this battle? We're outplaying this dude so well. We need him to miss, but he's going to go for a blade. And finally, we get the special defense drop. If I would have had that 10 years ago, we would have won. Finally, we get that, but no shot we lose this battle. Anyway, we can win this. We need him to miss, but he's probably going to go for Behemoth Blade if he was smart. Maybe he goes for a player off. Maybe he goes for a player off and misses it. It's our only hope. It's our only hope. But yo, what a second battle. Win or lose this battle. He goes for a Blade. That's going to be GG's. What a... Oh my god. I wish we would have won that battle. I wish we would have won it. We were outplaying our opponent there. Yawning, making some good protect calls. All that good stuff. He ends up just out bulking us with his Zacian and Snarls. And we end up losing that one. Final battle coming at you guys. We're going up against a Steam Engine Colossal team with Urshifu. And then he's got Dragapult, Rillaboom, Incineroar, and Galarian Moltres. So really cool team right here. No restricted Pokemon. How should I go into this one? How should I play it? I feel like we could definitely pop a Trick Room turn one. It is viable because I really do think he's going to go into the Colossal combo. I mean, I could go with Straight in the Groudon. Just Blades and Max Guard my Charizard. I think that's my play all day. Go in the Groudon, Charizard, bring Sekrom, and Gastron. Same team as last time, just give it another shot. I'm all about it. I am all about it. All day long. All day long. But we'll see what he wants to lead. I feel like he has to lead this, this Steam Engine combo, right? And if he doesn't, that's fine by me. That's fine by me, because then we can just Dynamax Charizard and roll out strong. But I feel like he would he would roll into that combo, drop a Aqua Jet, and then go into the uh, Volklith while we max guard. And then we can drop a Push Place Blades, get off some crazy damage, and kind of roll out from there. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I came here to play. But I got to watch out for Rillaboom. Rillaboom's a problem. He's definitely a problem. So if we can get rid of him. Because he's definitely got to bring him. Now that I have Gashed on and Ground on. You got to bring him. But if we can get rid of him. We can get some work done. We can definitely get some work done. Let's see who he leads. We're sitting at 1-1. One one. 
Which isn't too shabby. We could definitely look for a winning marker here. And he goes in Cinewar and Robin. So we can get a double into these Pokemon. I think we could just Airstream and get it after his battle. Right? We have White Herb, which is going to be awesome. I feel like I can just Sword Sands here, too. Or I could just protect my god on. But I feel like we Dynamax when we just Airstream here. Let me get some speed for, for the lovely little Groudon. And then maybe go for Swords Dance next turn. Hey, man, gonna fly. We have that lovely little herb. Yeah, my item's been coming in clutch. Lumberry and the White Herb. It's just been awesome. It's just been awesome today. We love it. Okay, so from here, I could Swords Dance. I could Protect. Uh, man, I could go for Swords Dance, but, you know, I'm just gonna Protect. I'm just gonna Protect. I'm gonna Dynamax. I'm just gonna go into an Airstream. Wait, yeah, Airstream's my best bet. I shall airstream right into Shrillaboom. Like I said, if I can get rid of, rid of Rillaboom, it'd be a really good, really good start from us. Rillaboom's just a problem. It's just a problem, and we all know it. We all know it. We'll see what he wants to do here. I think he's going to try for the fake out here, right? He's not swapping, which is beautiful. We like that turn. Hope he's going fake out into the ground on slot and Grassy Glide. I'll be all about it. He can double down into my protected slot. That could be good, because I really don't see him dying maxing any of these Pokemon. And maybe Rillaboom? Maybe. But I just don't see it. He doesn't. He does not Dynamax. He does not Dynamax. So we protect our ground onslaught. I'm going to hope that the fake out goes over there. It does indeed. And show me the Grassy Glide too for the double blockage. Oh my god, I love Protect. I love Protect! We make a perfect Protect. We're going to Airstream. We're going to say, Ayo, Rillaboom. See you later, dog. Do a fancy wave. This is a fancy wave. Or we can do one of these waves. We got plenty of waves to, to send these Pokemon gone. So, beautiful first turn from us. I feel like this dude's just about to throw his cons through the wall. He's not having it. He's not having it. So we're sitting in such a good position with the speed boost now. Now, from here, I could go for Sword Stance, depending on what Pokemon he brings out. I'm really not worried about this Incineroar. I'm not worried about you, Incineroar. I'm just not. Let's see who he brings out here. Probably going to be the Dynamax Pokemon. It is going to be Colossal. Colossal. Colossal is going to fly here. And I feel like we just Blades here. We have to Blades. No no need to go for a Sword Stance. And I can guard my Charizard. But he's going to Dynamax Colossal and go straight into a uh, G-Max Volcla. We, we're reading this guy like a book. We don't even have to like see his turns to know what he's doing. We're reading this dude like a book. We're going to guard his shot here after he Dynamaxes. And we're going we're gonna to be fine here. There's the a, there's a Dynamax. We know he's Volcla thing. And this thing's gonna dive ball? Which, who, who, who's the menace that, that caught the Colossal in a dive ball? Must have found this Pokemon, which is like, oh, wait a minute. All I have left is a dive ball. Let me throw it in here. And he caught it. But he's not a Max Colossal. We already know the Volcliff's going into the Charizard slot. So we're just gonna Max Guard it. We're totally fine with that. And then we're just gonna be able to drop a big old Blades here. Look at this, dude. We're too good at this game. We're way too good at this game. We are just way too good. We're gonna boop, 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 pop the weakest policy. It's fine. We have speed. I don't mind. I don't mind. But we're dodging moves all day. He's gonna sit just barry up. I'm not worried about Incineroar too much. He might just flare butts in my ground on. Who can soak that up? And the vocalist coming across. He's gonna party shot. Oh my no shot. We double protect this guy. No, he goes for an overgrowth. <laughs> he goes for an overgrowth in my ground on. What? That hurts so he gets a crit. I think we were dead regardless. He had grass rain out too. Wow, I, I was definitely hyping up that protect. But we're totally fine here. We have speed, we have all that good stuff. Um he, he does have steam engine pops, so he's very slow. And a scald will just kill it, so. I'm just gonna go into here, I'm gonna airstream the Incineroar slot, just get the speed boost, and then Scald should or Gashon should be able to outspeed the Scald. Loving it, loving it, loving it. So Scald or I can Earth Power. I'm gonna go Earth Power. Just play it safe. Just play it safe here. Just because he had the drought out here too. Had the drought out. So we party wait, he oh we blocked the parting shot. So he's still on the field. I was gonna say he parting shot, but he's still on the field. So he hard swaps and cinema. Where are you going into Kinsir? Dragapult. This Dragapult's not gonna fare too well to this lovely little airstream. And I probably should have wildfire there. And he guards you. Okay. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I'd rather take speed than the, the wildfire at this point. Let me just take him out. He's gonna come back in for an intimidate. He's gonna do nothing. We got crit, but we were taking him out regardless. And dude, we're we're sitting in such a good spot. Such a good spot. Such a beautiful spot. But he's gonna be able to fake me out. I could protect it. Um hmm. I feel like we just double down the console at this point. 
Like, cause he's gonna fake out one of our Pokemon with uh, Incineroar, and both my Pokemon can outspeak Colossal. Let's just target down that slot. Let's just target it down. I would have to go for a Blast Burn, right? Turkey is gonna miss. Solar Beam. Solar Beam be any good here? I mean, super effective on a rock. Solar Beam might have to be our play. That's a Grass Terrain, too. If it's neutral, I'll go for it. If it's a neutral move, I will definitely go for it. Yeah, we're doubling down into this Colossal here. Yeah. yeah, it is gonna be neutral. Alright, cool. Yeah, we'll Solar Beam it. We have the Grass Terrain for that boost, which I really like. We both have speed, so it really depends who he's faking out. Unless he doesn't fake out at all, but if you don't fake out, then your class is definitely dead. But yo, beautiful third and final battle from us. This is looking like a dub. He's gonna go for the fake out into who? Not my Charizard. Good thing I have a gash on his fashion in your Colossal. Earth power. Bang. See you later. Later, Colossal. Later, dog. Give him the fancy wave. Give him the fancy wave. Get on out my lobby. Get on out of my game. Cool. So we take out him. He has Incineroar left. This one's this this just game set match. This just game set match. We're gonna use Blast Burn because it looks so sick. Unless Drought goes away, then I can then I can pop a hurricane. But nah, we're just gonna go for a nice little earth power here. Gonna do more damage than the skull and the drought. And then we just pop a nice little blast burn because it looks so sick. But he's gonna cancel the battle. We already know it. It's gonna be three and one. Or not three and one. We're gonna be uh, two and one for today's video. He canceling. Or is this dude staying in? He stays in. Did I miss my blast burn? Get out of my face with that. That ain't cool. That ain't right. This is my blast burn. Earth power flies. Gastron does not have enough mustard in the tank. He's gonna fire what's into Char Char? Not into my Char. I'm in my Gastron. <laughs> Easy soaks. Easy soaks. And he dies of recoil damage. <laughs> what a way to go out. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Two and one. And a winning record to get Series 14 started. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, a winning record to get Series 14 started. So far, I'm loving the brand new series. It is a lot of fun. Definitely a lot better than uh, Series 13, where you just see the same themes over and over again. We have to see some cool Pokemon, and some Pokemon that we haven't seen in a while ever since Series 13 has been released. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.